cotton mask or neck fleece. Check out how effective different kinds of masks are. The body of evidence continues to grow. Masks protect the person wearing, in addition to those around them. But with so many choices, what's your best option? Regardless of mask type, fewer coronavirus particles get through to people wearing face coverings, according to a new paper that will be published in the Journal of General Internal Medicine shortly. Fewer particles could result in milder infections if the virus manages to slip through. Testing the effectiveness of masks. Recently published study, researchers evaluated the effectiveness of 14 different types of masks by estimating how many droplets traveled through the mask during normal speech. The researchers used a laser beam, a lens that turned a laser beam into a sheet of light, and a mirror that directed light into a dark box made of cardboard. People spoke the same phrase into the box with, and without a mask. The particles that hit the lens produced visible flashes recorded by a phone's camera on the other end of the box. The key point of this paper is that we are proposing a very simple, easily duplicated system, where community groups could actually test masks themselves. So what's the most effective kind of mask? 1. Fitted N95 mask. Medical N95 mask with no exhalation valve proved to be the most effective. However, the CDC asks the general public to not wear N95 respirators, which are limited in supply, so they can be reserved for healthcare workers and first responders. 2. Three-layer surgical mask When study participants said the phrase, stay healthy, people, wearing a three-layer surgical mask, only a tiny fraction of droplets got through. Surgical masks are single-use only and are made to protect the wearer's nose and mouth from contact with droplets, splashes and sprays that may contain germs. They also filter out large particles in the air. 3. Cotton polypropylene cotton mask A mask made from two layers of cotton and one layer of synthetic material proved to be the most protective option aside from masks intended for medical professionals. Another recent study suggested that a homemade cloth face masks likely need two or three layers to be effective in preventing the spread of the corona. A single layer covering reduced the droplet spread from speaking, while the double layer covering was better in reducing droplets from coughing and sneezing, according to the researchers. 4. Polypropylene apron mask This mask had two layers of polypropylene, a soft easy to clean synthetic fabric. Polypropylene is one of the most popular materials for masks because viruses and bacteria can't live on the fabric for long. According to a studies, polypropylene may be one of the best materials for a homemade mask. It has the electrostatic charge that traps incoming and outgoing particles. It loses its electrostatic charge when washed, but can be recharged by rubbing it with a plastic glove. 5. Swath researchers used a slightly damp washcloth in another experiment. Using high-speed video, they found that saying a simple phrase generated hundreds of droplets ranging from 20 to 500 micrometers. The washcloth blocked nearly all those droplets from the person's mouth. 6 to 7. Two-layer pleated style masks When choosing the material, make sure the cotton is woven at a high density so there are no visible pores under light, it may be best to use multiple layers. I wouldn't put too much stock in the small differences that we saw between the different cotton masks, I would emphasize that fit is important. 8. Valved N95 researchers noted that while the valve does not compromise the protection of the wearer, it can decrease protection of the people around because the masks release exhaled air through their openings, according to the CDC. The CDC has also recently updated its guidelines advising Americans to avoid face masks with exhalation valves or vents because they aren't as effective in preventing the spread of COVID. 9. Olsen Style Mask The Olsen mask pattern was named after the nurse who created cloth masks to be used when medical masks were not available. It is curved to fit the nose and mouth area. These masks are not a substitute for N95 masks in healthcare environments, but they can be good for personal use. 10. Maxima at mask This one-layer Maxima at mask may look slightly similar to surgical masks, but it doesn't offer nearly as much protection, according to the research. 11. One-layer pleated style mask The mask with one layer performed poorly. The World Health Organization recommends that fabric masks have three layers, an inner layer that absorbs, a middle layer, which can be inserted in the middle to act as a filter, and an outer layer made from a non-absorbent material like polyester. 12. 
Two layer pleated style mask It's important to make sure the mask is properly fitted and covers your nose and mouth. Studies suggest that 60% of users fail the fitting of surgical masks on first attempt. If the mask is loose, it allows for the significant leakage of air around the seal areas and can contribute to an exposure to aerosols. Having a mustache or beard can also make it challenging to properly fit the mask. 13. Knitted mask for this one, researchers used a mask with a looser weave. Think of the fabric as being something more similar to a sock than similar to a bed sheet, which is more like what you have for the standard cotton, Warren said. Larger pores in the masks may allow more particles to get in. Washing and drying the mask may further decrease its efficiency. 14. Bandana. Bandanas proved to be one of the least effective in the study published in June in the journal Physics of Fluids. Although a bandana can reduce the range of particles expelled during a cough, it scores lower than an uncovered cough at stopping the smallest aerosolized respiratory droplets. 15. Neck Fleece. The neck fleece or gaiter beloved by runners ranked worse than no mask at all. It could be because the porous fabric may break the larger particles into smaller ones. Smaller particles remain in the air longer than large droplets. However, the results can't be generalized. The outcome for the gaiter was worse because some of the most comfortable masks are usually thin and those don't do a good job of blocking particle. If you hold it up the single layer to a light, stretch the way it would be when worn, you can see light through it, Warren said. And my feeling is that if that's the case, it's not doing a very good job protecting the people around. Click the video on the screen right now.